A very typical summer activity in this little northern town is to launch your boat into the Hay River and follow it as it takes you to the Great Slave Lake. The Great Slave Lake is the 10th largest lake in the world. It is the second largest lake in Canada. It is 469 kilometers long and 203 kilometers wide with a maximum depth of 614 meters. What it is known for is some of the best fishing in the world. It's a very exciting day today because we are going on a boat trip, something I've grown up doing here. It just feels good to be on the water again, but we're going to a place called Bramit Lodge. We're gonna do some fishing. If you know anything about Northern Canada, you would know that fishing in the North is like the absolute best. So it's gonna be so fun. Today's just gonna be, yeah, living the Northern dream. So I'm excited to take you guys out on the water. Today I am heading out on the water with my parents and my very good friend, Nanette. look over there towards the shore we are now about to pass the Hay River Beach it is a popular town destination in the summer lots of people go there and yeah it's so nice just to sit there relax and enjoy I love being on the water so much but it's actually so amazing that even though I've been on water all around the world being on the water at home just always feels different because well it feels like home which means it always feels the best it's so amazing because the lake itself is so big, it just doesn't feel like a lake sometimes. Except for when you're close enough to see the shore. Then, yeah, then you kind of know you're on a lake. Yep. Got the best seat in the house. <laughs> I forgot like how wet you get sitting back here. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, totally drenched. <laughs> The water was so smooth coming here today. Sometimes the water gets insanely choppy, very large waves. What should be a couple hour trip turns into an eight or 10 hour trip. But yeah, today was perfect. We officially made it to Braben Island. I have so many childhood memories around Braben Island. So it feels pretty good to be here. It took us about an hour and a half for the trip, but we made it. I have that nice wind blown splash with water hair going on but yeah we're just gonna make a snack and then we're gonna go do some fishing and take it all in and just enjoy this beautiful day bush trout first catch of the day is it a fish or is it a piece of wood it's a fish Oh yeah! Spicy. Oh. Oh, just a baby. You need to put it back. Oh, yeah. Those are pike. That's a pike, not a jackfish. Yeah, I think that's the same. Yeah. Oh, I am pickerel are the same. Okay. All right. One little baby fish. Wow, he's going home. Pre fishing lunch, we opened up the little barbecue. So far, there's an onion and a potato in there. What are you doing, Tina? Wait, she's sitting all pretty. She's like, someone give me a treat. Are you just being so cute? You're so cute. Living the boat dream out here. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Check that out. This is such a cool little barbecue. A little bit of meat and potatoes. This is your typical camping lunch. We really are living the dream today though, hey? This is awesome. Yeah. And I'm still excited for the fish later that we're gonna catch and cook. It's gonna be awesome. None? Well, I, I don't know. I can we can touch base on that again later. It's good. 
Now that our bellies are all fueled up, it is off to find a prime fishing spot, and Tina is on her throne. Hey, I've heard it's been a while for this. Fishing after not fishing for here. Did I do that right? Reeling her in, reeling her in. <laughs> it's teamwork here. Lift up your rod a bit. That is your northern pike. You tuckered out, let me know. <laughs> well, he's really going under the boat. Keep him out of there. Jump over the other side now. Jump over the other side. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same freaking one. Yep, I knew it. Like Rocky caught. Yahoo! Does he have, does he have the hook in? There's a five of diamonds in here. Yep. What we mean by the same one is that not long before this, my mom caught this exact same fish. Then he broke the line with the hook in his mouth, and I was worried I didn't want him to live like that, and then I caught him. Okay. Get him in, get him in. 14.5, 14.2, he's going all over the place. Yeah. I already feel the workout from catching that fish, actually. Like, <laughs> I'm like, why do you need to catch buns when you just catch one like 50 pound fish? And then I got my workout for the week, too. <laughs> If you keep your eyes on the right, you're going to see a cabin coming up. It is owned by a family friend. I have some pretty amazing memories staying at this cabin with my parents when I was a teenager. There was even one year where there was a bear that literally came straight up the deck trying to get into those glass doors up there. It was crazy. This right here is a very famous fishing lodge. Raymond Lodge. What's your cabin? When you guys stayed here? Yeah, when I worked here. Oh yeah, you worked here years ago. How? What year was that in? 1972, 1973, 1974. Wow, so my mom worked here. 1972, 1973, 1974. Did you love it? I did. Yeah? That would have been an awesome job. Housekeeping, peeling spuds, and um, taking care of cleaning up the boats and making sure they had fishing gear and stuff. That's awesome. Tourism. Yeah, best. totally. Camping on the shores of the north without a fire. It just wouldn't be, I don't know, what's the word I'm looking for? Complete, thank you. <laughs> I just, your experience in the north and just wouldn't be complete without it. Oh my gosh, that's a workout, hey? Well, and this is fish number four. And they were all big, so it's not like you were just filleting small fish. Okay. Uh, what's he doing? Oh, he needs a bigger knife. <laughs> time, yeah, time to pull out the big guns. Yeah. Wow. Did you debone them? Oh. 
So you actually cut them into fillets first before you do them. Um, I find it here. Okay. guys little tiny strawberry they're so small and so delicious these little strawberries good old back eddy spice thanks to Nanette who used to own the back eddy restaurant that I worked at on and off for many years okay Fish on a stick, fresh fish from the lake, cooked right on the fire. Mm. Oh, that is so good. It is so good. The flavor on the back eddy split spice really pulled it together. Yeah. Yum, yum, yum. Yes, that is the absolute best right there down the hatch. Today has been so, so amazing. I've absolutely loved it. But the thing you never know about is the wind. And now the wind has picked up. It is so windy outside, which means our ride back is going to be a little rough. Not sure that I'm excited about that. But yeah, that's just the way it goes. But it was so worth it for today. It's been just incredible coming back to Braven Island. So yeah, let's hope that this ride home is not too bad. Until next summer, Braben Island. And you know what? Surprisingly enough, even though it felt super windy on the island, the ride back was not that bad at all, which was awesome. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.